Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we're making a dish that truly represents what the Spanish Mediterranean kitchen is all about. We're talking una caldereta de bacalao y gambas. This dish is basically cod fillets that you fry in extra virgin olive oil until they're golden fried. And then you finish them off in a delicious broth that's filled with sautéed vegetables, spices and herbs, and some shrimp that truly take this dish to the next level. Folks, we're talking super easy to make, the simplest ingredients, and all done in a little over 30 minutes. All right, let's just dive right into this. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat. You can use a stock pot here if you like as well. And add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. After a couple minutes, I'm going to add in 20 blanched almonds and 4 whole cloves of garlic with the skins removed. You can also use almonds with skins here. And we'll mix the ingredients around that we are coated in the olive oil. And we're going to saute them between 4 to 5 minutes or until they're golden fried all around. In the meantime, I'm going to add in 2 cod fillets over some paper towels and pat them completely dry. The size of the fillets I'm using are 8 ounces, which is 225 grams each. As always, I'm using cod that I bought frozen and thawed out, but you can also use the fresh stuff here, as well as any other type of firm white fish. Then we'll cut each fillet into two evenly sized pieces for a total of four pieces of cod, and then season them with a kiss of sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper, and you just have to do this on one side. Then we'll crack one large egg into a bowl, season it with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper, and give it a whisk until it's well mixed together. And we'll also add in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour into a separate bowl, which is 30 grams. And for the final step, we'll coat our pieces of cod, first in the all-purpose flour, and then into the egg wash. Okay, let's move back to the fry pan. Once the almonds and the cloves of garlic are golden fried all around, once again between four to five minutes, We'll remove them from the fry pan, transfer them into a mortar, and then set it aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, we'll add in our cod fillets. And you want to make sure they're on a single layer and evenly spaced out. And we're going to go for about 3 minutes per side here until the cod is fully cooked through and golden fried all around. After about 6 minutes, and the cod fillets are golden fried and fully cooked through, we'll remove them from the pan and set them aside. Now once again using the same pan with the same heat, I'm going to add in one medium sized onion that I roughly chopped, 4 cloves of garlic that I thinly sliced, and 2 carrots that have been peeled and cut into small bite sized pieces. And we'll mix the ingredients around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And at this stage, I like to mix this around continuously, that way they don't brown too quickly, and everything evenly sautés. After 3-4 to four minutes, and the veggies are lightly sautéed, I'm going to add in 1 teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 2.5 grams. And half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which is half a gram. And we'll give it a quick mix until it's well mixed together. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. Link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 120 grams. I made my sauce by finely grating fresh tomatoes, but you can also use canned tomato sauce here or even pasata. And we'll season generously with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And then we'll give it a mix and simmer it for a few minutes. After about 3 minutes and the tomato sauce has slightly thickened, I'm going to add in half a cup of dry white wine, which is 120 milliliters. If wine is not your thing, you can substitute it for 2 tablespoons of white wine vinegar, which is 30 milliliters. And once again, we'll give it a mix and simmer it for a few minutes. In the meantime, let's move back to the mortar with the fried almonds and garlic. I'm going to add in 2 tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is 8 grams, and just a kiss of sea salt. And using a pestle, we'll pound down on the ingredients until we form a paste-like texture. You can also use a food processor for this step, Nutribullet, or even a handheld blender. After simmering the wine between 3-4 to four minutes and the alcohol has cooked off, we'll add in the almond and garlic paste, 
and two cups of fish broth, which is 480 milliliters. You can also use vegetable broth here or even chicken broth. Either way, link where you can get the Spanish fish broth I'm using in the description box below. And then we'll turn it up to a high heat and give it a gentle mix until everything's well mixed together. While the broth is heating, I'm gonna add in half a pound of raw jumbo shrimp, which is 225 grams, over some paper towels and pat them completely dry. I'm using red Argentinian shrimp here that I bought frozen, thawed out, and already peeled and deveined. However, you can use whatever shrimp you like here. And then we'll season the shrimp with just a kiss of sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. Okay, let's move back to the fry pan. Once the broth comes to a boil, we'll add in the cod fillets back into the pan. And you want to make sure they're in a single layer and evenly spaced out. And we'll also add in the shrimp, once again in a single layer and evenly spaced out. And then we'll place the lid on the pan and lower the fire to a low medium heat. And we're gonna simmer this between two to three minutes. This is enough time for those pieces of cod to be heated through and for those shrimp to be perfectly cooked. After two to three minutes and all the seafood is beautifully cooked, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat. And you can serve this directly out of the pan or even transfer it into some shallow bowls. Either way, make sure to top it off with some chopped fresh parsley. Check it out folks, una caldereta de bacalao y gambas, a Spanish seafood stew with cod and shrimp. Beautiful presentation, so easy to make and all done in a little over 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again folks, una caldereta de bacalao y gambas. In my opinion, one of the most underrated seafood stews from Spain and possibly the entire world because it's a very unheard of dish. So excited to try this because it smells so good in here. Here we go. Oh my goodness, we're in for a treat today. <laughs> first things first. Wait, that bite. It instantly fills you with so much goodness. You have those sauteed vegetables with the spices and herbs, the seafood beautifully cooked, and the almond and garlic mixture, taking this to the next level. We saw this so easy to make, done in a little over 30 minutes. Give it a try at home, serve it next to a crunchy baguette to mop up all that goodness. And of course, a bottle of Spanish white wine, more specifically from the region of Alicante, you can have yourself an instant trip to the Spanish Mediterranean coast. Real quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Juan Iturri, Rob Haskins, and Daniela Brandt. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.